हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग बायोलॉजी क्लास इलेवेंथ चैप्टर नंबर फोर सेल डिविशन सॉरी चैप्टर नंबर सेवन सेल डिविशन ओके वी हैव स्टार्टेड विद दिस चैप्टर टूडे वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग द चैप्टर ओके इन दिस चैप्टर वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड वी हैव स्टार्टेड विद द प्रोसेस ऑफ माइटोसिस इन दैट वी हैव स्टडीड द फोर फेसेज ऑफ माइटोसिस दैट इज प्रोफेस मेटाफेस एनाफेस एंड टीलोफेस आफ्टर टीलोफेस देर ऑकर साइटोकाइनासिस द प्रोसेस ऑफ साइटोकाइनासिस टीलोफेस मीन्स वॉट दैट वॉज द फाइनल स्टेज ऑफ कैरियोकाइनासिस इन विच टू डॉटर न्यूक्लियर वे फॉर्म इन द एंड ऑफ द सेल ओके एट द एंड ऑफ द टीलोफेस टू डॉटर न्यूक्लियर वे फॉर्म सो नाउ लेट अ स्टडी विथ साइटोकाइनासिस वॉट डू यू मीन बाय साइटोकाइनासिस साइटोकाइनेसिस मीन्स द डिविजन ऑफ साइटोप्लाजम इन टू टू डॉटर सेल्स दैट प्रोसेस इज नोन एज साइटोकाइनेसिस आई रिपीट द डिविजन ऑफ साइटोप्लाजम इन टू टू डॉटर सेल्स इज कॉल्ड साइटोकाइनेसिस द डिविजन स्टार्ट विद द कंस्ट्रिक्शन दिस कंस्ट्रिक्शन ग्रेजुअली डिपेंड्स एंड अल्टीमेटली ज्वाइंट इन द सेंटर डिवाइडिंग इन टू टू डॉटर सेल्स This process of division of cytoplasm is perpendicular to the spindle. This mechanism of cytokinesis is characteristic of animal cell. Okay, and in plant cell, what happens? Plant cells are covered by relatively non-flexible cell wall. Due to this, furrow cannot be formed. Instead, cell wall partition starts to appear. at the center of the cell and grows outward to meet the existing lateral walls the formation of the new cell wall begins with the formation of a simple precursor called the cell plate that represents the middle lamella between the walls of two adjacent cells at the time of cytoplasmic division organelles like mitochondria and plastids get distributed with the two daughter cells okay in short we can say in animal cell furrow appears in the cell membrane during late anaphase or early telophase and in plant cell cytokinesis starts with the cell plate which is middle lamella between cell wall of two cells you can see here clearly in this diagram animal cell versus plant cell animal cell the furrow is getting deepens okay you guys see this is the furrow okay this is the furrow it gets deepens deepens and ultimately it gets the wall the layer gets divided into two we are getting two daughter cells and here we cannot see any furrow instead of furrow there is a cell plate and that cell plate divides the daughter cells into two parts okay so you have to remember this students in animal cell there is a furrow formation that gets deepens and ultimately two daughter nuclei are formed and in plant cell there is a cell plate and that cell plate divides the cell into two daughter into two daughter cells okay next is so here we complete the process of mitosis at the end of the cytoplasm we are getting two daughter cells okay next part is significance of mitosis mitosis is a equational division so the num chromosome number is maintained constant it ensures equal distribution of nuclear and cytoplasmic content between the daughter cells both quantitatively and qualitatively the hereditary material dna is also equally distributed it helps in the growth and development of organisms okay so i repeat the significance point wise mitosis is important for sexual reproduction indirectly then it allows the sexual reprodu sexually reproducing organisms to grow and develop from a single cell into sexually mature individual this allows organism to continue to reproduce through the generations okay so mitosis is playing a very significant role and it is helpful 
for the distribution of genetic material dna it also helps in the growth and development of organism then it many other significance are there of mitosis okay old and worn out cells are replaced through mitosis we can say that some old cells and worn out cells are also replaced by the process of mitosis it helps in the asexual reproduction of organism and vegetative propagation in plants the process of mitosis also maintains the nucleocytoplasmic ratio okay although mitosis is a very reliable process for preserving the genetic makeup of cells or organism it cannot introduce variations or new combinations of existing genes i repeat the process of mitosis also maintains the nucleocytoplasmic ratio although mitosis is a very reliable process for preserving the genetic makeup of cells or organism it cannot introduce variations or new combinations of existing genes okay then next part of the cell next part of the chapter is meiosis but before studying meiosis we need to study about the death of cell cell death we will study i will tell you some points regarding this you may think of it as a bad for cells in your body to die in many cases that's true it's not good for cells to die because of an injury for example due to scrape or a harmful chemical which is called necrosis however some cells of our body die not randomly but in a carefully controlled way for example during the embryonic development the cells between the embryonic fingers died in a process called apoptosis to give a definite shape to the fingers this is a common form of a programmed cell death where cell undergoes cellular suicide when they receive certain signals apoptosis involves the cell death but it benefits the organism as a whole for instance by letting fingers develop or by eliminating potential cancer cells i repeat about the cell death body is very good at maintaining a constant number of cells so there has to be exist mechanisms for ensuring other cells in the body are removed when appropriate there are two forms that is apoptosis and necrosis apoptosis means suicide and necrosis means killing suicide means programmed cell death and killing means decay and destructions automatically there will be decay and destructions of the plants apoptosis means programmed cell death it is a form of cell death in which a suicide program is activated within the cell leading to the fragmentation of dna shrinkage of the cytoplasm membrane changes and cell death without lysis or damage to neighboring cells okay so and next part was the necrosis means what decay or destructions of the unwanted cells automatically the unwanted cells will be decayed and delayed okay so by letting fingers develop or by eliminating potential cancer cells what process involves this cell death but it benefits the organism as a whole so <clears throat> death of the cell is also a necessary process it is not we cannot say that it is a bad process sometimes the death of the cell is also a required process to replace the old and worn out cells okay i repeat you all may think of it as a bad process of the cell in your body to due to die uh, but in some cases that's not true and in some cases that's true it's not good for cells to die because of an injury okay which is called necrosis ne- however some cells of our body die not randomly but in a carefully or controlled way okay for example is embryonic development and the cells between the embryonic fingers died in the process called apoptosis to give definite shape to the fingers okay this is a common form of a programmed cell death where cells undergo cellular suicide okay and so thank you for today so here we have completed the part of mitosis okay complete here we have completed mitosis means half of our chapter is done 
okay only meiosis part is remaining so that we will continue in our next lecture so thank you for today we will continue in our next lecture